Hi, welcome to Everyone Can Jam. This is a place where everyone can learn to play music. And I'm your teacher, Janet Brockman. I'd like these lessons to work for everyone, so if there's ever anything that seems difficult or like I left something out, please let me know so I can fix it. This is the first lesson I'm recording for Everyone Can Jam, so this is a learning curve for me too. Um, this is Music Language Basics Unit 1, Lesson 1. And for these lessons, you're going to need the PDF that goes with it. And you can get that from my website, or I may have sent you a, a, a PDF in your email. But uh, you're gonna, the first page looks like this. You're going to need five of those. And the second page is the 3M. You need one of those, the one that's blank, and the other one is filled out. And you can use that as a key or... Um, as a reference. And don't let that worry you. By the time we get there, it'll be so easy. All you have to do in these lessons is just follow along and write stuff down, and I'm even going to tell you what the answers are. It's not about figuring it out or thinking hard. It's just about going through these steps, and then you'll make connections, and you'll be like, oh, you know, things that used to seem so random uh, will make a lot of sense and fit together and then you'll be able to use those things when you're making music. Uh, I'm going to assume that you play music a little or a lot but if you don't it, it doesn't matter you can still understand these things uh, and whether you play an instrument or whether you sing um, you can understand these things you know even if you're a complete beginner just follow along and I'll tell you the answers and you'll make connections and it's fun. So let's start with um, this page and in the upper left where it says key of blank, write C. And try to not worry about any questions. Try not to feel like you have to understand it. Just, you know, if, if you have questions or wonder about things, just follow along. And a lot of those questions will be answered by the time we finish lesson three. Right under key of C, it says blank major scale. Um, write a C there, and because this is C major scale, the first note is a C. So over the number one, you write C. And in music, um, it's like the alphabet, only we just use the first seven letters. After C comes D. So over the number two, write D. Over the number three, write E. Over the number four, write F. Uh, G. Over the number six, write A. And then B. And C. So you just wrote a C major scale. Looks like that. You may notice that uh, between C and D there's more space than there is between E and F. And we need to talk about that really quick. Don't worry about it too much. It will, like, like I said, it'll all make sense after you do it five times. Um, down here we have a picture of a piano. This is not about you learning to play piano. It's just that the piano keyboard is a great visual aid for understanding the relationship of the notes. Every note on the piano is a half step. From C to C sharp is a half step. C sharp to D is a half step. And from C to D we call that a whole step. From D to D sharp is a half step. From D sharp to E is a half step. So from D to E, we call that a whole step. But look, there's nothing between E and F. That is a half step. So when the note sounds a little higher, uh, from C to D, that goes up more than it does like when you go from E to F. It just goes up a little bit in pitch. Um, let's see. And if there's ever a moment when you're just like grasping something and you need a minute to let it sink in, just push pause because it's really good. You know, when you're having an aha, just let it sink in and don't feel like you have to scramble to keep up. Um, right under, right under your C major scale, it says spell a blank major chord. So we're going to put in that blank a C. And I just remembered I want to play a C major scale for you. This is a challenge. I have to get a better tool, but for now this is what we have. Here is a uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Sounds very familiar, like Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Um, and back to our paper where we said spell a C major chord. The way you do that is you look up at your scale, you look at the first note, the third note, 
and the fifth note, which is C, E, G. So in that blank, you write C, E, G. You don't have to worry about why or remembering that now. Um, when you need to use it, it'll be there and it'll be easy. Um, how many sharps? There's zero sharps in a C major scale, so just write zero and then list the sharps. Um, you put nothing there. So let's go on to the next one. Uh, in the upper left where it says P of blank, we're going to write G. Later on you'll see why it's G and not some other scale. So uh, under that where it says blank major scale, write G. And then over the number one, write G. And just go like the alphabet in music after G comes A. So over the number two, write A. Over the number three, write B. And then C and then D. Over the number six comes E. And then over the number seven is F and then G. And what we're going to do is check and make sure right here, we need to have a whole step and we need to have a whole step here and we need to have a half step here. So we're gonna check these notes and see if they really are half steps and whole steps. First, we're gonna play it on our little fake piano here. Okay, I'm gonna play what we've written and you're gonna decide if you like the way it sounds or not. So right here, if I can. G, A, B, C, D, E. So you might notice right in here, sounded a little funny, or you might not notice that. Um, it's not wrong, it's just not a G major scale. So let's look at this and see what's going on. So you'll get used to this. From G to A is supposed to be a half step. Look down here, see if it is. From G to A is, did I say half step? G to A is supposed to be a whole step. From G to A is a whole step because there's a black note in between. A to B is supposed to be a whole step. A to B is a whole step because there's a note in between. B to C, we need to have a half step. Is B to C a half step? Yep. B to C is a half step. There's nothing in between them. Okay, uh, C to D is supposed to be a whole step, and C to D is a whole step. D to E is supposed to be a whole step. Yep, it is. E to F. Now between, when I say, okay, um, what we're saying is the sixth note and the seventh note are supposed to be a whole step. Is E to F a whole step? No. That's a half step. And our seventh and our eighth note is supposed to be a half step, F to G. What is that? F to G is a whole step. And we're supposed to have a half step here. So the way we fix that is we call this F, we turn it into F sharp. Sharp means you just make it a little higher. So we're gonna write F sharp there. Looks like that. So you write F sharp. And uh, on the piano, you can see it. On the piano, well, let's look at this G F up here. This is the F, This, that's the F sharp. So instead of playing this F, I'm gonna play, when I get to it, the F sharp. So now let's play it and see if it sounds right. So here is, I guess you can see it better, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, sounds better, right? Okay, so that's why we have sharps and flats in our scales, is to get the half steps in the right place. Um, so underneath your scale, it says spell a blank major chord, write G, and then um, we spell it kind of the same way. We take the first note, the third note, and the fifth note, G, B, D, and write that in your blank. This is going to be very information, very good information. Uh, even for those of you who said you wanted to play like Hamp, we'll explain that later, but um, you need to know how to spell your chords if you want to play like Hamp. 
Hemp's my husband. He's an amazing guitarist. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. How many sharps? So how many sharps did we make? One. So in the how many sharps uh, blank, you write one. List the sharps. Our sharp is F sharp. So um, that's lesson one. It can be this easy always. And uh, you're going to see more connections in lesson two when we do three more keys. See you then.